the network. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey, and today what I want to do is give you guys an exclusive look into a video from the Brand Man Network. Now, I had to do a little bit of finessing from Sean just to get this video on the channel, but I promise after you guys check it out, you'll be glad I did. Now, this particular video is about publicity stunts and how you can properly execute them to pretty much add them into your marketing mix and get the most value from them. So with that being said, let's dive right into the video. It's the Network. Oh, what's up, Brand Man Network? It's Sean, and I'm back with another BrandManNetwork.com exclusive. Now, today we're talking about creating and capturing PR stunts, specifically those PR stunts that you're doing something outside. So let's say you want to do a random pop-up. Like I know I had a homie one time, he hopped out of U-Haul, popped up in the middle of the street, did a performance. It, it happened and a lot of people came. They love it. They, they just took the surprise and it went pretty well. Then I've seen people do things like performing on subways, right? Um, I've seen people do things like dressing up in a big uniform like a big bird uniform because their album is related to birds there's so many random things that you can do a uh, the baby dressed in a diaper right there's so many random different things that you can do however the part that people miss is actually making sure they get captured for real for real so this is how you create once again and then capture pr stunts so number one the creation part i'm going to leave the specific identity in terms of the creative um, portion of it to you however once you get into the moment the things that you have to keep in, um, in mind is to create the moment you actually need to have a fake crowd with you i know that you can be doing something wild where people do stop you're just like yo this is so wild everybody's gonna, gonna stop but most people don't realize that there's a lot of times that people don't stop, especially depending on what city you are. The culture is a little bit different where some people are like, eh, I don't want to stop or it feels awkward to stop. They might look and turn their head, but they'll keep going. So you want to have maybe three, four people at least just to stop just so everybody else feels okay to stop. It's a small psychological social norm, but once people see those crowds, then they're more willing to stop and be a part of the crowd themselves. But a lot of people, they're hard pressed to be the first person to just stop and watch this random person. It's a little bit easier if you're like performing right on the street or you're doing like a pop-up and you're performing because it's a little bit more obvious that people want people to watch them. But especially if you're doing something wild, like you know maybe wearing a diaper or something like that you got to make sure that there's people who are stopping so that everybody else feels comfortable stopping and then the second portion of that is in that fake crowd you need to make sure that there's somebody who is recording right you need to make sure you have somebody who's recording off the phone in a way that feels organic you might have official cameras building up to other parts of the moment which i'll get to but in the actual moment it needs to feel organic you need to make sure you have somebody capture that bringing it back to the more official cameras maybe if you're building up right you're gonna you know hey man today i'm gonna go out i'm gonna do this PR stunt we're gonna make it happen during that period of time you can have some official cameras right you're just documenting your process and it's good to have that footage to show much later you don't want to show it in the moment when your PR like stunt starts to pop off online and things of that nature but you do want to make sure you have that so if it becomes popular and popping and then you know you, you build your your fan base your audience one day you can show them what it was like building up to that moment now back to the moment itself you have your fake audience so other people are comfortable being in an audience and then you also have the person who is recording the moment and hopefully when you have this fake audience member recording then other people start to feel comfortable to maybe do a little recording too those are going to be the primary things the foundation of just creating and capturing a pr moment there's little nuances and things that we can get into in this series but those are the primary things you want to make sure people actually stop to check it out so there's a crowd and it looks more interesting when you record your own video because when you record your fake video and it's just you and you know your fake person it won't even look like it's a crowd i mean to be real if you have 10 people to bring out you don't even need a real crowd to ever populate you can just say yo i'm gonna bring out 10 people we're gonna make it look like it was a crowd and we do we might even do it when it's not even a lot of people out outside because we don't want to 
um, have a lot of people outside. You can go that deep into uh, capturing it because in that moment, people online, they won't know. They will not know the difference. Make sure you have that crowd and you control that environment because again, do not leave virality to chance. There's always a chance to go viral, but you don't want to leave it to chance. You want to prepare for it and position for it for as much as possible. And then, you know, you can let the social media community take it away and hopefully make it even more viral than what you plan for. So that's first, creating and capturing the moment. We have more on this series coming. Let's do the work. It's the mat work. Now, just to touch on a couple of things outside of what Sean said, another really big thing that you want to touch on with publicity stunts is make sure that you have a big enough crowd or enough pieces set in place so that you can make whatever your pr stunt as believable as possible because that's what everything comes down to how believable is this pr stunt how believable can you make this appear to be to the people who you're trying to convince that this is really going on now I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I pretty much come from the school of PR stunts. I used to work for a publicist, and that publicist was extremely huge on publicity stunts. He would do it from clients big, small, in the middle. He would just be working on PR stunts all day, every day. That was his thing. And one of the main pieces of advice he would give me regarding these PR stunts is that they need to be either outlandish enough or just so triggering that they tackle one of the seven emotional triggers that I talked about in another video regarding going viral. Um, when it comes to PR stunts and even some of the elements that we talk about with going viral, they fall within the same framework, meaning that you want them to connect to some people emotionally. You want to be trying to actively trigger a feeling inside of people or trigger something, whether it's, you know, just extreme humor or something that makes people sad, something that makes people angry. You want your PR stunt to have a goal of triggering an extreme emotion within people because that's when you will get the most reaction out of it. That's when it will start to really spread and be talked about and that's when it creates a story that press, fans, Instagram pages, content pages will actually want to pick up and talk about. Now, if you would like to see more videos like this and other exclusive content, go and check out the Brand Man Network. I'll make sure to put a link to that in the description below. And as always, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time. It's the Matt Work.